to number 77, zero standard deviation means that more than 50% of the score obtained is zero. 50% of the scores obtained is zero. The student scores are the same. Less than 50% of the scores obtained is zero. Okay, so which one do you think is the correct answer for zero standard deviation? 77. Okay, many are answering letter C, C. All right, so again, in assessment, you have what you call the measure of central tendency. So a measure ng central tendency mo would be your mean, median, and mode. Okay, kung gaano ka clump ang scores mo to a certain um, center, okay, to a certain score or grade. Now, pag sinabi mo namang measures of variability, okay, or measures of dispersion, meron ka din dyan standard deviation, meron kang range, meron kang um, iba pang klase ng mga deviations, okay? So, pag sinabi mong zero standard deviation, that means walang pagkakaiba ang score mo, okay? Walang variability, walang dispersal ang score mo, clump sila. So, your answer should be letter C. That's correct. The student scores are the same, okay? Zero standard deviation, that means the scores are the same. Number 78, all of statements below are kinds of pleasure. Which one is morally good? Okay, which one, which type of pleasure is morally good? Is it letter A, pleasure in winning in a beauty contest by means of ballot? Letter B, pleasure in offering one's hard-earned grades to your parents? Letter C, pleasure in winning in a chance number game? Letter D, pleasure in winning in sports by default? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for number 78? Okay, saan so dito yung morally good na pleasure? Nanalo ka sa beauty contest by means of a ballot. So, boto-boto. Um, In-offer mo yung grades mo sa parents mo. Letter C, nanalo ka sa isang game by chance dahil lamang sa swerte. Letter D, pleasure in winning in sports by default. Nanalo yung team nyo dahil default, yung kalaban. Okay, correct answer is letter B. Pleasure in offering one's hard-earned hard grades to your parents. That's morally correct. Okay, next one. A group of people asserts that their culture is superior to another. This exemplifies letter A, cultural conflict, B, cultural gap, C, ethnocentrism, D, norm conflict. Okay, which one is the correct answer for number 79? Is it cultural conflict, cultural gap, ethnocentrism, norm conflict? Okay, again, we're already at number uh, 79. Okay, correct answer, of course, you're all correct. That's letter C, ethnocentrism. So when you say ethnocentrism, you think your own culture is better than the rest of the culture. Now, the opposite of this is sinocentrism. Sinocentrism naman po, iniisip mo na mas maigi yung kultura ng iba kesa sa kultura natin. Sinocentrism, okay? Sino sinocentrism. Uh, this is the opposite of ethnocentrism. Pag sa ethnocentrism, you consider your culture to be superior than that of another. Sinocentrism naman, you consider another culture as superior than that of ours. So, uh, ano siya, colonial mentality siya. Iniisip mo na mas mabuti yung kultura ng Amerika kesa sa atin. That's sinocentrism. There is another term based on this, which is sinophobia. Baka lumabas, baka lumabas sa let nyo. Uh, sa mga phobia nyo, no? sinophobia, pag sinabi mo namang sinophobia, that is the fear of strangers. The fear of strangers or the fear of foreign people is called sinophobia. 